you will need to choose a templating material. Most hardware stores will have a few options. Brown paper works fine, or transparent plastic. It must be durable and fold up reasonably small for shipping. You will also need a blue masking tape. My hardware was out of stock, so I ended up using a white heavy duty masking tape. You will need a scissors, utility knife, black marker, and a straight edge. Start by laying out the templating material as flat as possible on the deck and cut it out at least two inches bigger than the area you want decked. Next, secure the template material to the deck with double-sided tape or by cutting a small hole and placing masking tape over it. This will keep the template from moving while you work. Try to keep the template material as flat as possible to ensure an accurate template. It was not necessary for this particular template, but if you do need to join two pieces of templating material together, please tape them together on both sides and mark the join with two straight lines at an angle so that we can line it up again when we're in the workshop just in case it comes apart somewhere in the shipping process. Next we need to mark the center line. This line not only helps us to line up all of the panels, but also shows us the correct direction for the lines on your deck. If there is a panel on your deck that does not line up with the center line, then you need to draw another line parallel to the center line as a reference for that particular panel. Clearly mark the center line so that it is not confused with any other lines on the deck. Now you can begin tracing the non-skid on your deck to get the shape of each panel. If your boat does not have non-skid, then use a spacer to draw an outline about one inch from the radius. When you get to your fittings, you can trace the outline if you would like to lay the deck around the fittings, or if possible you can remove the fittings and reinstall them on top of the deck. This works well to prevent pooling. It is good to give as much information as possible when tracing fittings. This can prove useful if you decide to refit them on top of the deck. This is where it comes in handy to have a transparent templating material. If you were using paper, you would need to apply some pressure so that you can feel the edge of the non-skit to draw your accurate template. This particular sheet of plastic that I'm using here is a woven plastic, commonly known as waterproof shade cloth. Next we will have a look at the information that needs to be included on your template. We will start with the choice of color and the design. New Teak boasts the most realistic teak color for synthetic decking. Your color options include teak black, teak white, gray white, and gray
grey black. Clearly mark your choice of colour on the template. New Teak is a very versatile material. The design options include no margins, part margin and a fully margin design. The part margin design allows you to decide where you want to see your margins. Notice how every single panel does not have margins going all the way around and the hatches will either have margins on the inside or on the outside, not both. A fully margin design will have margins around the full border of your deck as well as on hatch lids and around hatch lids. If you are unsure about which design to choose, feel free to ask us for some suggestions before marking your choice of design on the template. This next step is optional and only applicable if you chose a part margin design and you have a very good idea of where you would like those margins to go. You can use a 2 inch spacer to mark the areas where you would like your margins to go. Now all we need to do is put the rest of the information on the deck. Mark arrows on the center line facing forwards towards the bow. These arrows should be on every panel on your template. Also mark the port and starboard side, the bow and stern at the back. Each fitting should be named and numbered if there's more than one of them and the size can be added if possible. If you cannot avoid cutting the material close to the line, you can reinforce the edge with masking tape. With paper, this should be all the way around. With some plastics, it's not necessary to go all the way around. This is an example of a step with a bullnose. If there are any areas on your deck that need a bullnose, you do not need to draw the bullnose in the way I do. You can also mark the area with arrows and write bullnose. Utique is flexible enough to take the form of most boats. In the case of a template like this, instead of a center line, you will draw two intersecting lines so that we can match the curve of your boat and template in our workshop. Once you have made sure that every panel has the information it needs, you can go ahead and gently lift the template off the boat deck and tape up the holes on the bottom. I would like to thank the guys at Yamaha for allowing me to film this templating job on their beautiful 650 Odyssey. We look forward to building your deck.